Hello everybody! Merry Christmas Day! It is December 25th, 2020. Friday morning, 54 degrees Fahrenheit, 12 Celsius. Today I'll be exploring Manhattan on this not so lively weather day. It's raining just a little bit, but hopefully it slows up. And I'm going to be exploring a lot of the sights and sounds of Manhattan today, seeing what's going on on Christmas Day. Seems pretty quiet around this area, Grand Army Plaza, Central Park. I actually have to put my umbrella up. I would have started this live stream earlier, but the rain wouldn't stop until probably about half an hour ago, and it's still raining a little bit. The Pulitzer Fountain, always spectacular. On this Christmas Day, I'm grateful for everybody watching right now, hoping your friends, families, everyone you know, your loved ones are safe and we can live another day. This year has not been a good one for many, many people around the world. But with Christmas Day here, it just gives us a reminder that life is precious and we should cherish every living moment of it. I'm expecting most people are still not awake yet after that horrendous rainstorm last night. There was wind blowing all over the place. On my way here, I saw garbage strewn all over the streets just due to how um, strong that wind was and the rain. I also don't have my external microphone on me today. I forgot to bring it with me. I left it on the scooter setup, so I'll be doing my walk without the external microphone. Hopefully there's not too much wind noise. Alexander K, thank you so much for the 100 Russian rubles. Appreciate it. On this uh, Christmas exploration today, I expect to hit most of Manhattan's major attractions. Todd Aaron, thank you so much for five bucks and I'm very sorry for your loss. You lost your father yesterday. Love your content, really puts a smile on my face. Merry Christmas, pal. Todd, I wanna to say, Todd, your father will always be looking down at you. Don't feel bad that he's gone. Once again, I'm very sorry for your loss. Here's for a better future, and I hope everything's better for you. Merry Christmas. Fritz Schoenberg, thank you so much for 20 pound, uh, 20 euro. Merry Christmas action kit. Hope to visit New York City again in 21. I hope so too. Thank you for the super chat. Merry Christmas. Mitchell with five bucks. Merry Christmas from Angie, Carlos, Mitch, and Candace. You too, Mitchell. And everyone there too. Angie, Carlos, Mitch, and Candace. Here's 5th Ave and 56th Street. Someone's yelling across the street. That's not something I want to show for Christmas time. There's no need for people to get angry and shout and be miserable at this time.
fantasies of float display. This is nice. Looking at the forecast, I think the weather is gonna, uh, the rain's gonna stop maybe in about an hour or two from now. Lori Mazio, thank you so much for $99.99. And Mike Adams with $4.99. Why does Super Chat delineate to 99 cent and not an even amount? $4.99. You know, I'm not really sure of that. I think that's just the way YouTube's like YouTube works. I also notice when I'm watching a live stream on my iPhone and the super chat options, they have like 99 cents at the end, but then when I go to desktop computer, there's even amounts. So whatever works, I guess. Wow, it is quiet on 5th Avenue. A lot of stores I expect to be closed today. It is a major holiday. I'm sure uh, if Santa was delivering any presents early in the morning, he must have had really, really good driving skills because Rudolph's nose would not have been able to guide Santa through the windstorms of New York City last night. Those winds were unbelievable. And you could probably even hear some right now. Santa has to be like the most professional sleigh driver there is. And I'm sure you still got all the presents on time. saying it did clean the snow out yeah the wind and the rain pretty much disintegrate all the snow that was left on the ground Buddha goddess one thank you so much for five bucks Merry Christmas action kid thank you for being you thank you Buddha goddess Merry Christmas to you Nick P underscore NYC with $9.99. Merry Christmas. You too. Thank you so much. And not to be um, exclusive of the other people who observe the other holidays too, but happy holidays, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, whatever you celebrate, it's all good. We're in a happy spirit right now. Although I know uh, many of those holidays have passed already. But most people around the world celebrate New Year's, which is coming up just next week. So excited for that. Wow, I don't think I've noticed that tree before. DJ, thank you so much for 549 Canadian. Merry Christmas from Montreal in Quebec, Canada. I like this tree, whoa. Very pretty. And there's me, hey, with my pink umbrella. Uh. 
I chose this umbrella because it stands out. I know it's like a gloomy day and a little bit quiet. Otherwise, I would have picked another color. St. Patrick's Cathedral, are they open for Christmas time? I think they are, I see a door open. It'll be a shame if they weren't. I could probably walk in there and finally show you what it looks like inside. There's probably a uh, uh, inspection point there. I'll stop right before the inspection point. Gosh, this wind's gonna be horrible for the sound. That's not a good sign either. The wind's still strong and my umbrella's flipping over. Okay, let's go. St. Patrick's Cathedral. Who I've blasted before for not having decorations on the outside of their cathedral but I have never been on the inside during this holiday season let's see what they did on the inside just close up my umbrella all right Is a mass already. And one another, thanks be to God. Please join in singing our recessional hymn, Hark the Herald Angels Sing. Wow, 
Wow, what an unexpected surprise. I got in just as the mass was ending. And they sure decorated inside the cathedral. Need my umbrella again. Now we've got Saks Fifth Avenue. I don't know why this driver is making a left here and this is a one-way street. Oh wait, never mind, this is the police car that was facing the other way. They're allowed to make a left. It just looks strange. Wow, Christmas Day, Saks Fifth Avenue has a good amount of people here. Good showing by New York. And Saks Fifth Avenue had one of the best window displays this year. I think Bloomingdale's did better though. Now let's go over to Rockefeller Center. Shari wonders how they're going to keep people out of New York for New Year's. Uh, well, I think I'm going to head over to Times Square after Rockefeller Center and we'll see what they're doing in preparation for New Year's. I knew that the uh, numerals, the 2021 numerals, were already delivered. I think yesterday when I was trying to look for them, they were already being installed. That's why I couldn't find them. Here it is, Rockefeller Center. What a beauty this tree is. Can even go over here and do it if I wanted to. Thank you, Jeff Ruby, for five dollars. Usually spend Christmas in New York City, but can't this year. Thanks for keeping us connected. You're very welcome, Jeff. It's unfortunate that you can't couldn't make it this year, but. At least I'm here to bring the experience to you virtually. Uh, 
I don't even think there's a line to get across 50th Street right now. We can probably walk up right up to the tree and see it. Is there a line to see the tree? Oh, wow. It's like no line at all. If you want, just come walk, walk right in and see the tree. There's no line anymore. Christmas Day is so quiet. And then we had that whole fiasco last uh, Sunday where you had to line up over here and it was like a 25 minute wait. None of that right now. Just walk right in and see the tree close up. No waiting. Sherry at, uh, wants to know if you have to pay to see the tree. No, you do not. You just wait in line or you were supposed to wait in line when there's crowds and then you can see the tree up close but the tree is right there Rockefeller Center Christmas tree and they closed the tree viewing area too you can't even go down there they had a barricade up unless it's too early right now but right now the time I'm coming it's the perfect time there's not too many people I think the rain scared a lot of people out from coming out today. They're going to wait until the rain lightens up, maybe. But who needs a tree viewing area when you can walk right up to here and see the tree here? This is probably as good a view as you're going to get even from the tree viewing area. There's the uh, Swarovski crystal at the top, Rockefeller Center. Absolute, absolute beauty. In America 3, thank you so much. Merry Christmas and to all Action King community, don't forget to like the video friends. Thank you In America 3. Merry Christmas to you as well. What a beauty. Sarah's asking what I'm going to be doing after the walk. Uh, I'll have to finish the walk first before I decide what I want to do after the walk. But I do have some plans later in the evening to spend with some family and friends. One thing I think I'll know I'll do after I end this walk is to get something to eat. That may be tricky because a lot of places are closed but maybe I could find a few places that are open some restaurants where I can enjoy a meal top of the rock observation deck Picos Bill thank you so much for five bucks bringing happiness and joy to the world via YouTube many thanks action kid thank you Picos Bill Appreciate it very much. Merry Christmas to all watching and hope you're enjoying the stream. Give it a like if you do. John PS30 with $25. This is such a great Christmas morning treat. You send, I send you to family members all around the country. They love you too. Merry Christmas, Ken. You've been a ray of hope and goodwill. Best to you and yours. You too, John PS30, and to everyone watching. Radio City Music Hall. Here's another smaller gift shop that a lot of people don't really stop by. This is Peak, P exclamation mark Q. I love this little guy over here right there and then you got the Pusheen next to it Hey, 
Ben Landro with five bucks. Thank you so much, Ben. Appreciate it. David Magnifico is saying this is a repeat. It's not a repeat to me. And I'm sure it's not a repeat to many people here. I've done many, many walks throughout my YouTube lifetime going over the same route, different times. There's different people out, different weather. It's raining right now. So you can't say a video is a repeat. Tom Fred. Rick Shan, thank you so much for 10 euro. A Merry Christmas, Ken. Tom from Berlin, Germany. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Oh, windy, windy, whoa. Wait for this wind to die down. Thank you, Tristan46 with 499 pounds. Have a coffee. Be a while since I had time to watch Merry Christmas, bud. Thank you. And Lucy T with 250 Hong Kong dollars. Love to watch your live stream when I'm always staying home. Miss visiting New York. Thank you. Thank you. Merry Christmas to all. Thank you for all your support throughout this entire year. It's been great. Also take a look at what the wind did to all this garbage. It blew it all the way to the curbs to the side. This is what happened uh, last night. And the wind was so strong it even blew over this barricade off the sidewalk. On my way here, I even saw like a few wooden boards, construction boards, blown all throughout the street. And there's garbage bags everywhere. If I wanted to, I can go down there to the Rockefeller Center concourse. But I think I'll stay topside today. Danny, Danny, thank you so much for five Brazilian real. Merry Christmas to you as well. Aries, you don't remember the last time it rained on Christmas Day? I don't remember either. And then a week ago, the weather forecasters were predicting even snow on Christmas Day. A white Christmas, but it turned out to be way too warm for it to be snow. So it turned, to re turned out to be rain instead. Thank you, Adam Nami, for $20.20. Thank you for keeping the spirit alive and showing the beauty of New York City. Thank you so much. It's 55 degrees, so no snow is going to last at those temperatures. If it was uh, 20 degrees colder, there would have been snow. In fact, there, I don't even think there's any more snow left from the last snowstorm. The rain just disintegrate all the snow well there's a pile of snow over there I'll give you that right there perfect timing too news corporation Christmas tree one of the hidden gems of uh, New York City this year Johnny strides with two bucks we got a white Christmas you have a windy and rainy one very true very true I also love Johnny Stride's uh, Niagara Falls live stream this morning. I mean, uh, last night, and also the video he put up 
this morning as well as the two drives he did going to and from there. Diane saying Johnny's drive home may be a nervous wreck. <laughs> yeah, it's not uh, always good for everyone to drive back in the snow. I mean, people are going to have their abilities if they can do it or not. Just K, did the wood do any damage? I mean, other than like litter flying around and some loose garbage, I didn't really see any lasting damage. Nicole Jin Young Cho, thank you so much for the 20,000 won. Wow. And Mark Pelsky with 499, high action kid. How about a big smile for all your watchers? All right. Big smile coming up. You ain't getting it. All these skyscrapers, they shock me how tall they can get. I am ready to see Times Square. Thank you, Gaming Palooza Empire for M&M store on the corner. I think I might even visit Krispy Kreme. Krispy Kreme is one block away from me to the right. Because I know a lot of people wanted me to pass by Krispy Kreme the other day and I didn't. M&M's. Wow, Times Square is quiet now. Really quiet. I just looked over to my left. Guess I'll go now. It's a lot of recycled materials inside that garbage truck. Thank you, yes sir, 5075 for $20 Canadian. Merry Christmas, my friend. Raining Montreal, also 15 Celsius. Have a great day. Similar weather to us. m and m store is not even open yet. It opens up at 10. No, wait, it already is open. It's past 10, it's 11.30. Why did I think it was before 10? I don't know. Here is the Krispy Kreme store. I see we have uh, a few people who are not a fan of Krispy Kreme in the comment section. I mean, they. I have to say, their donuts do taste good, but I wouldn't be eating these donuts all the time. It's probably very unhealthy for you.
Krispy Kreme Donuts store in Times Square. Thank you, Alex Roca, for five euro. Merry Christmas from Portugal. Hope you have a safe holiday season and thank you for illuminating your viewers with New York City. Yes, thank you so much. They also got a walk-up window at Krispy Kreme. How much does one donut cost? A dollar fifty for a donut. No, a dollar ninety-nine. Jens Christian Mickelson, thank you so much for the DKK forty-five. Appreciate it very much. Do I want a donut? No, I don't. I am not gonna give in to that temptation of eating a Krispy Kreme donut. I've got enough uh, snacks at home that people gifted me <laughs> that I gotta eat through. I'm already not doing good on those. And I just found out DKK currency is Denmark Krone or Danish Krone. I learned something. KD with $13.99. Thanks for the Christmas Day walk action, kid. Keep up the good work. Thank you, KD from Canada. And I have entered the crossroads of the world, Times Square. Let's see if we can get a glimpse of 2021 early. See what kind of preparations they're doing here. When I came here yesterday, I saw they were doing some preparations already with the confetti and some more um, things down there with Planet Fitness. I think Planet Fitness is sponsoring the, um, the event this year. I think they always do. I still cannot get over all the bright lights of Times Square. Are we able to see the 2021 sign? Um, might be installed right now. So it's back behind some obstructions. I don't think we could see it. Dalek Dan, thank you so much for 499. Merry Christmas, Action Kids, everyone in the chat. Hassan Buhendi, thank you so much for 499 pounds missing these streets from Bahrain. By the way, folks, Justin Bieber is going to be performing New Year's Eve concerts. I also got an invitation to join Justin Bieber's concert on my T Mobile Tuesday app.
Yeah, KD, uh, Justin Bieber representing Canada here. Got some tourists here taking pictures. Oh, they have the confetti submission stand over here, but I don't think it's open yet. Not available on Christmas Day. Oh, asterisk. You can't do that. Diogo Santos with two Brazilian real. Thank you so much. And also Jack with 20 Swedish Krone. Thank you so much. So we cannot submit a confetti to drop on New Year's Eve or New Year's Day, I should say. I guess it's both. Me, Colin, thank you so much for 50 pounds. Happy holidays, Action Kid. Thank you for doing such a great job. You too, me, Colin. And speaking of jobs as well, I know my moderators here, they work very hard keeping the chat clean. i like to also thank my moderators for keeping everything clean throughout this year and even before that too. Kim Laboif, thank you so much for $4.99. Appreciate it very much. Let's get a shot of Times Square. People see me on Times Square Earth Camp with my pink umbrella. Very easy to spot, right? You can't miss that. Times Square, yeah! Five, four, three, Two, one, Happy New Year! Wait, I'm celebrating it like a week early. I can't do that. What's up? Thanks for the handle. Yeah, I'm live. Oh, you like the handle? Yeah, it's a it's stabilizer. Got the on it. Yeah, it has everything. Uh -huh. Yeah. Oh, everything is going to be Everything is stable, yeah. From the switch, everything is a what? Yeah. This is the phone, and this is just the stabilizer. And what is the model for this phone? iPhone? Oh, no, this is a Galaxy S10. S10 is very good, right? It's very good. Okay. Yeah. Galaxy S10. Perfect. And then this is how much? Moza, this is, uh, I think. I think I got it for fifty dollars on sale. Oh, excellent! Yeah, it's Very good. convenient, right? Yeah, everything Easy smooth. Movement, yeah. You see? Any Everything. video, right? Yeah, perfect. But what? Amazon? Amazon, yep. But what is the name? Holder? Moza. M O Z A. M -O -Z -A. Moza. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank okay. You. The picture quality Samsung is excellent. It's great. All right, so, thank you. Even the much greater than like a iPhone. Yeah, it's thank great. You. Sorry for no problem. Bye. Happy holidays to you. NYPD wants to get into the live streaming business, maybe, or a stabilizer. Shay's asking, where's the DJI? I still have it. I don't like it as much as I used to because it gets unbalanced very easily. This one I find works a lot better. It might have been uh, 60 bucks I got this for, I'm not sure, but it's much cheaper than the DJI. I have a link to the gimbal in my uh, video description. Hakan P, thank you so much for the 100 Swedish Krone. Merry Christmas from Sweden. 
and in Finney. Thank you so much for $4.99 and Danny Kim Birch for $25. Bucks. Merry Christmas. You too. Thank you so much. You want me to go to Line Friends? I think I could do that. Thankful Heart with 1999. Merry Christmas from Washington, D.C. I'm a very positive and kind person. Thank you. I like that store, Line Friends. I'm not sure if it's open today, but we can get a look at the uh, giant Rilakkuma in the window. Another great angle of Times Square. Nat Photography, thank you so much for $4.99. Merry Christmas, please have a relaxing and joyful Christmas today. Thank you. Line friends, are they open? Let's see. Nope. Not open, but it's nice though. I didn't think they were open. windy still seems like the rain got a little bit harder or well, it's raining some more WX geek 69 thank you so much for five dollars Merry Christmas action kid Merry Christmas to you as well I would cross the street, but there's a don't walk sign and these cars ready are starting to look like they're going to go. Almost 4,000 viewers to the channel. Absolutely incredible. I'm very, very surprised and flattered that 4,000 people are watching me right now. Thank you. Nicole, thank you so much for $5. Thank you so much. And Eva Wajna, thank you so much for $19.99. Merry Christmas Action Kid. Thank you for your walks even in the rain. Even on a day like today, it's all rainy, but just drop my umbrella, soak in some raindrops, and it feels nice. It's not too heavy of a rain. Rhino Rip Bubba Gump, Merry Christmas. Yes, Bubba Gump, great restaurant. Almost tripped over the curb. John has no money but wants to send me thumbs up from Wales and United Kingdom. I understand John. A lot of people right now they're don't have the financial means to contribute and I don't force anyone to. They just do it out of the goodness of their heart. But just watching the stream, giving it a thumbs up, great enough for me. 
Carter 75. Thank you for 399 pounds. Merry Christmas from Deez and Emma and Liverpool. Thank you. And Teo Will with 9.99. Thank you. Mandy Knight, 499. Merry Christmas. Love for the live stream this Christmas. My family loves watching your channel. Thank you, Mandy. Bail me later with 499. Thank you so much. I'm gonna head over this way. I'm getting all the angles of Times Square today. Wow, the wind is really picking up. I wish I remember to bring my microphone today because this would have been the perfect day to bring it. All right, let's go. American Asian couple. Thank you so much for $49.99. Thank you, American Asian couple couple. Wow, wow, wow. Hey, you're not supposed to do that umbrella. Kimberly here with five bucks. We'll never visit. Ow, 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 ow. Ooh. Ow, my umbrella just smacked me right in the chest. Kimberly here, thank you so much for five bucks. Never get to New York in person. Love visiting your videos. Merry Christmas. All right, hopefully this works. It flipped inside out and then one of the things on the top, it didn't really close. All right, it still works. Ouch, that hurt. Yeah, it is getting worse. What the heck? Instead of a white Christmas, we get a rainy Christmas. Yeah, the reason why the umbrella hit me so hard is because I was trying to close it with my chest. I want to go this way. Broadway looks nice with all these lit up planters. Luke is saying there's a white Christmas in Kentucky. Wow, in Kentucky and not in New York. By the way, Bryant Park Winter Village is only a block west of me. Maybe I'll head over there before I head this way just to cover it. I don't think I'll stay too long at Bryant Park, but Actually, what I'll do after Bryant Park, I'll continue walking down 6th Avenue. Angie Lineback, thank you so much for $4.99. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you as well.
out there on the rain on our Christmas day yes Joe King travel trailer thank you so much for $4.99 from Norma and Dean Butcher with $3.99 Canadian thanks for bringing New York City to you Merry Christmas I'm gonna check my weather app again. I wanna know when this rain's gonna stop. Uh, looks like 12 o'clock p.m. will be 100%, and then 1 p.m. will be 60%. So it might even rain for another hour or two. Wow, what is this? I should have uh, brought my larger umbrella. That would have been better. That would have definitely been better. Gemma Atkins, thank you so much for 50 bucks. Merry Christmas, thanks for bringing the weather in my umbrella for us. Good thing I travel lightly today. David Martinez at 499. Merry Christmas. Keep the change. You <laughs> filthy hand. Well, thank you, David. Here is Bryant Park Winter Village. I don't think there's uh, too many people here today. Just judging by the uh, amount of people here right now. A lot of these vendors aren't even open. Here's the poop store where I got my hat. They're not open. I just see a lot of leaves blown all over the place. Yeah, it is quiet here. You can't even make out the Empire State Building, which is over there. It's all foggy. Lena Nicholas, thank you so much for a hundred bucks, Lena. Merry Christmas to you and your family. Appreciate it very much. Hope you're safe and sound. This is turning out to be like an ASMR video. If I didn't talk, you hear all the raindrops hitting the umbrella, Christmas day, perfect setup for one. Timothy's asking if there were vendors at Union Square. No, not this year. Oh, this is horrible. I would not ice skate in the rain like this. There's so much water on the ice skating rink. Is there even ice on the ice skating rink or are those people skating on water? That might be a little bit dangerous. I mean, I don't know because I've never ice skated before and I don't know how that'll work, but... That doesn't seem uh, safe. Yeah, Bryant Park doesn't really seem too festive right now with all this rain and lack of people, so. It's just continuing exploring Christmas day. I'm gonna get all wet. Alex Rokow, no Christmas tree at Bryant Park this year. There's three smaller ones on the other end of the ice skating rink.
to step in any puddles. One thing I don't like walking in are wet feet. I think it's safe for me to go. This car is making a left. Char saw me at Grand Central days ago. I don't remember being at Grand Central recently. Maybe it was like two weeks ago or three weeks ago. Once in a while I get people who say that they saw me on the subway or in public somewhere and it ends up that it's just someone who looked like me. Laurie wonders if that ice skating rink is kept frozen or is the equipment visible on the ground. Just interesting to see how it works. I think they do uh, keep it uh, cold underneath. And also, if you're the same Laurie W that sent me an email, I think you might be the person who sent me the card for Christmas time. And I want to thank you for that. I was about to send emails out to uh, people who send me physical mail after this live stream. And Walking Man Do saw me at the subway five minutes ago. Wow. That must have been another action kid. There can only be one. Vinny Lofranco met me at Arthur Avenue and 187. I remember you, Vinny. I told Rich about um, you as well, and he remembered you as well. Rodrigo wants to know how I keep the camera so steady. It is an electronic stabilizer. Miller Thompson with five bucks. Thank you so much, Miller Thompson. Uh, Brendan, my address is located on the about page of my YouTube channel. I think the wind is lightening up a little bit as well as the rain. Hopefully it continues to do so. I'm going to pass by Herald Square very shortly. Here's the Herald Square District Shopping Port. Must be closed. Celine asking if Macy's is open today. I think they should be. It's such a big store, I don't really see why not. 
but many places are closed. Even Taco Bell's closed on the corner there. But a lot of places are closed today. I noticed some stores on 5th Avenue were closed. Um, a lot of the shops at the Bryant Park Village were closed. Even Lion Friends was closed at Times Square. Is Starbucks open? Yes, yeah, Starbucks is open. They have the sign up. We're open. I don't know how busy they'll be for the day, but... The employees are sure to be happy uh, there. There is so much litter shown around the streets and sidewalks. The city is going to have a lot of cleaning up to do. Well here I am, Harold Square. We'll see if Macy's is open or not. You know what, I think the rain lightened up enough where I can close my umbrella now. Hopefully I can close this umbrella without injuring myself again. Tammy, thank you so much for $4.99. Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas to you. Thank you. Let's see if Macy's is open. I want to know if they're open first. No, they're closed. Closed Christmas Day, wow. I didn't know Macy's was closed today, but now we know. Luca, thank you so much for the two yo. You love Macy's? I do too. I can do this too easily. Watch. I'm just being silly now. <laughs> I can't kick as high as those figurines are. this dark. Lena, thank you so much. Again, when it's a good time to go see the tree in light without running into the crowd. I think right now, Christmas Day, there was no line to see the tree. But the light show only begins in the evening. Owen Crompton, thank you so much for five pounds. Merry Christmas, pal, from Manchester. Thank you.
Gotta open my umbrella again. This rain's going on and off this morning. Even Herald Square, which is busy with shoppers all the time, doesn't really have too many people right now. I think these people are disappointed that Macy's is closed. Here we have Gucky, Burberry, Longchamp. And the Macy's memory game, test your memory. Press any pedal to start. Watch the L's memorize sequence. Three, two, one. Yellow. Boy, I missed the second one. Yellow. What? How do you do this? Watch the L's. Three, two. Oh, the L's, the color of the L's. Yellow, blue, blue. All right. Yellow, blue, blue. Yay, I win. If you like games, you can play some games here. Fill Santa's bag. Press any pedal to start. Press the pedal to launch a gift. Oh! Wow. Can I get one gift in? Oh, that's going in! Yeah! Yay! What about this game? Help fuel Santa sleigh. Let's fuel Santa sleigh. Rado, thank you so much. Oh, you press the pedal to go higher. <laughs> I got one more. Yay! Winner. And it stopped raining again. So what I'm going to do now is walk across to what I believe to be the best Christmas decorations in New York City in the neighborhood of Hudson Yards. I cannot miss up Hudson Yards because that was my absolute favorite. Got some toys in Macy's on the 8th floor, unfortunately it's closed. Mike, did I ever watch Home Alone? Yes, I did. It's been a while since I saw that movie, though. But that movie is iconic, set in New York City.
You know I wonder when the next bus is coming. Hey, what's up? Happy holidays. <laughs> Adam Nami, thank you so much for 10 bucks. Walking in the rain on Christmas Day. Absolutely beautiful. Happiness in the rain. <laughs> Action, man. That's funny, they call me Action Man. Action, man! <laughs> I wonder when the next bus is coming. I need the M34 regular. Oh no, it's coming in 10 minutes. Forget that. I can walk to Hudson Yards much quicker than that. You know, um, Alexander E. Poet, I think it's so much for 499. Actually, kid demands to say the Christmas minute. Shout out to Nadine. Thank you. The most common way I get recognized is, wait, you're that guy from YouTube. <laughs> you're that guy from YouTube. Not really as a action kid or action man. Boy, he's like, wait, you're from YouTube. It is quiet here on 34th Street. I haven't seen 34th Street this quiet in a long time. Please use pedestrian walkway. I don't want to. Scaffolding looks so, so sad. I'm just going to cross the street like this. Look, it's so quiet. There's not even any vehicles on the street. Look at this. Wow. Maybe I can become a bus now. I'm just walking in the middle of the bus lane. Global Universe, thank you so much for $2. Appreciate it very much. Madison Square Garden and Pennsylvania Station to my left and I did see a comment earlier saying that the Monaghan train hall is going to be opening next week so that might be interesting to go and check out completely stopped at least 
since I uh, got rid of my umbrella and closed it up. The wind's still around though. Only two blocks away from Hudson Yards. Logan saying there's a record 4,000 people watching this chat. There's a lot of people watching, but it's not the record. The record, I think, was in the snow video I did. There was like over 6,000 people watching at one time. That was incredible. The one thing I don't like about Hudson Yards is it's so far away from the core of Midtown. You gotta walk a lot to get there. I can just make out the top of the Hudson Yards skyscrapers on the construction now. Looks like the temperature is still 54. The time is 12.20 p.m. I thought it said a.m. at one time. That's because of the font. PLNSXT5. Thank you so much for the $4.99. Safe, healthy, Merry Christmas. Dedicated young man. Thank you. Appreciate it very much. Merry Christmas to you as well. Here's the B&H photo and video store closed for today for the holidays that is the 30 Hudson Yards building the edge at Hudson Yards looks like it's above the fog right now that's how foggy it is right now I think I may need to plug in my battery pack in the next half an hour if I can keep continuing. Those in the chat who have not seen Hudson Yards before, it is well worth the wait. I should be there within the next five minutes. Rob the Vegas Mailman, thank you so much for five bucks. Watching your video along with the hometown Pelicans game, do I have any favorite sports or teams? I actually don't really follow sports, but I find it entertaining sometimes to watch. Kelly Skinner, thank you so much for $19.99. Merry Christmas, Action Kid. We love your videos. Thank you, Kelly Skinner. Appreciate it, Kelly.
I don't like this long walk all the way from Herald Square to Hudson Yards. It takes about like 10-15 minutes just to get here. Alright, I don't want to interrupt these people's pictures, so I'm going to walk around them. Lucas asking what Hudson Yards is. I've heard you or someone say that before. Hudson Yards is a neighborhood that's brand new. It was only built up and finished last year. Well, not finished, it's still undergoing construction, but basically it's built over the western end of the Penn Station rail yards. I think it's the uh, most expensive piece of uh, real estate development in the world, in history. Many billions of dollars have been put into that neighborhood and still are. Oh, I just missed the light. Okay. Ice Walker, thank you so much for five bucks. Walk together, Walker's power. Thank you, Ice Walker. I might be able to cross. driving really really slowly all right let's go no traffic here on 10th Avenue what was Hudson Yards before it was rail yards you came down here and all you saw were just a bunch of rail yards. Whoa, look at this! All the wind blocked off the entire area to walk in. It's gonna get windy. Hudson Yards is just around the corner. I had to come to this neighborhood again because it is the best place to come. I really wish I didn't forget my microphone right now. It would come in handy. There's so much wind here. Sherha Nami, thank you so much for the 50 Philippine pesos. And Hudson Yards. I'm not sure how busy it's going to be here today. Right now it's kind of borderline if I should open my umbrella or not. It's kind of too windy to do so because the umbrella will flip. But it's raining enough. Okay, huts and yards. Yeah, 
Adam Nobby with $10. Action Kid is live stream on Christmas Day, bringing outside to so many shut in. A metaphor by you of Robert Frost Prome, the road not taken. Thank you. I've done a lot of things where people wouldn't have walked before. The road less traveled, right? Or the road not taken. Marcelo saw me on the opening day of The Edge. Yeah, I remember that. I remember that. That was in March of 2020. Soul Cycle. Arnie Tracy, thank you so much for $20 Canadian. And Christoph S, thank you so much for the PLN $23.99. Looks like this side, um, the lights shut off on the trees. The lights must have shorted out or something. Bit of damage to the Hudson Yards, I see. Lights are out, this tree is messed up. Timothy Smith, Timmy Ray, thank you so much for 10 bucks. Merry Christmas, thanks for all you do. Thank you, Timothy. Look at this. This tree is actually spinning around in place. you have a tree it's spinning around by itself this tree looks a little bit lopsided Many of these lights are out. This tree is out, that one's out. Gordon McCracken, thank you so much for 10 bucks. Happy holidays from Atlanta, thank you. These trees are out too. This one's not lit up. I want to go inside the shopping mall and find out what's going on inside there. Soul cycle people are still hard at work exercising. Thank you, Ina M with 99 euro. 99 euro cents.
We are going in. Enter. Thank you, Lupita, with the 75 Mexican pesos. Wow. It is always so lively here inside the Hudson Yards shopping mall. Oh, it is? I can only go this way or that way? All right, thank you. So gorgeous in here. I still can't get over how pretty it is. I just want to walk through the mall to the street level. The other side is blocked as the security guard said. Yeah, Alibaba, I'm turning the sound on and off to fool the YouTube algorithm. I don't want to get in trouble with copyright. All these stores are closed. Tiffany, Brooks Brothers. It's an empty shopping mall for shopping. Ina M, thank you for the 99 euro cents. Guess the only way to go out is this way. Gotta head out this way to 33rd Street. Denise Matthews, thank you so much for $4.99. Appreciate it. D. Robinson, thank you so much for 35. Thank you for all your walks. Appreciate it very much. Now I can exit the shopping mall and unmute the audio permanently. Oh, this is gorgeous. So pretty. Time to exit. I wish I had my microphone. You're probably getting bombarded with wind sounds. It seemed, the wind seemed a little bit better once I moved in from 10th Avenue. Like 9th Avenue was better, 8th Avenue.
I'm making my way down 10th Avenue and then I think I'll cut across and see the Flatiron District. Before I do that though, I want to hook up a battery pack. I found an opportunity to do it here where it's dry. Oh wow, the High Line is open? I could walk on the High Line. Let me do that. I'm also going to connect my other phone because I think the High Line has a few dead spots in phone service. There it is, it's connected now. Good, we're in business. Thank you so much, Steve and Daryl with 499. Merry Christmas Action Kid and his whole family. Love your welcome to us, beloved city of New York. And Carl hosts Bukhar, thank you so much for 549 Euro. Yeah, I know about that screen glitch. It happens every time I go to the home screen and reopen it. I have to close it and then reopen it quickly to fix the video. It's very strange how that works, but at least I know about it. All right, let's go. High line. It's called the Spur. It's part of the High Line that um, just reopened. I mean, opened recently. see anything for real
Ross, I guess. Tori Day NY, thank you so much for five dollars. Merry Christmas to you and your loved ones. Thanks for all you do. P.S. You inspire me to purchase an e scooter. Thank you. It is windy up here. Very windy. Wind howling. Woo. Crazy. And even my gimbal's acting up. I can't keep it straight. I think what I need to do is I need to rebalance it again. So let me sit on this bench and straighten it out. It's gonna be tough in the wind though for this to balance. Let's put this down, turn this off. I'm good. This is the High Line. I have not been here since I think May. Uh, George Senda, I do have a Rode microphone with a windscreen. I just didn't bring it. Sounds like an emergency vehicle stuck in traffic right now. I've ever exited at the staircase before. It's this long set of winding stairs. Are you kidding me? Why'd you do this?
Yo. Wait, wait, wait. All right, I'm getting out. <laughs> All right, I don't care. Uh. Exit only, and this whole setup is all messed up. Okay. I did it. I got out of there. I didn't have to climb back up. Lawrence Lopez. Thank you so much for $20. We love what what you do and how you do a class of humor. Merry Christmas from Lawrence. Marianne and Bronson. Thank you. Thank you. I'm glad you appreciate my work. I can cross. There's nobody driving. wind is down enough I think what happened there was they had that entrance open but the wind just blew all that stuff and the gate closed so it looked like it This is the quiet part of Manhattan. Track and field at Chelsea Park. Yeah, Laurie, I'm glad for the less wind over here. I appreciate it. <laughs> Flower box, thank you so much for five dollars. And Sherha Nami asked if I have any plans to cover the New Year's countdown. Um, I'll try, but if Times Square is completely locked out, I'm not sure how good of a view I'm gonna get. Maybe I'll cover New Year's in a different part of the city if that's the case, but I'm not sure how good it's gonna be. Really enjoying your videos lately. Keep up the great work. Thank you so much, Boris. Appreciate it. This part of 28th Street is very weird because it curves through. It's not like the other parts of um, the city. I think it was like planned like this. I 
thinking I could cross now. Here's the Church of the Holy Apostles. This church and its mission does very good things. They help feed a lot of people every day. This is not the most festive area of Manhattan but I do have to walk through to get to the rest of Manhattan. Fred Fassberger, thank you so much for four dollars and ninety nine cents. Appreciate it very much. It's more residential over here. You see a lot of apartment buildings especially over here. Uh, Jack is asking if these are the Chelsea projects. No, these are not projects over here The Chelsea projects are more over on uh, 9th Avenue going down further Outlaw warrior sir, where's the best place to see the Statue of Liberty from? Uh, without going to the island that would be the Staten Island Ferry. You take it from the very tip of Manhattan on the south and as it goes to Staten Island you get to see the Statue of Liberty as it cruises past. That's the closest you can get without actually going to the island and it's for free. There's also um, boat tours that get you closer but you don't need to pay for those if you can just ride the Staten Island Ferry and see it for free. All right, here is 8th Avenue. I still got about three avenues left, maybe four. say you can go to the piers at Liberty State Park in Jersey City for free. You can see the Statue of Liberty there as well but the problem with seeing it from Liberty State Park is you only see the statues back. Going over there you don't know if the Statue of Liberty is crying or frowning. Maybe she has a different expression and you will never know. There's a lot more traffic over here. Sean Tracy, thank you so much for four pounds. Appreciate it. And Paul Antonio with five Brazilian real. If you're from Brazil, you speak with you directly from Rodonia, Amazon region. Thank you. I don't know what she heard. Yeah. 
So after 7th Avenue, and I continue walking on 28th Street, I'll be walking in the Flower District of Manhattan. I'm excited to see how the Flower District is doing. Maybe it's open. Maybe it's not. Harji asking if I have my Christmas dinner yet. Nope, I still got a few hours left for that. It's only one o'clock in the afternoon. At least another four or five hours. But Christmas Eve dinner was pretty good. I had a nice breakfast. the FIT University Fashion Institute of Technology Via saying Chinatown is open yeah Chinatown they do have a lot of businesses open on Christmas Day you're able to get a lot of places there to eat and relax still Well, I'm uh, two hours into the slide stream already. Look at FIT. It's dark. Me saying it's Christmas Day, hence the empty streets. That and also the weather is not so nice. Flower District coming up. What a difference between walking on the Highland and then coming over here. There's like no more wind over here. Square saying today would be a good day for the scooter. It would be. It's just a little bit wet and windy. district doing don't really see too many places open here Dutch flower line dark Scott Hoffman thank you so much for 10 bucks Merry Christmas action kit from sunny San Diego California thank you There's like nothing open over here. I see a lot of big poinsettia trees. It's so dirty over here. All the wind blew everything over.
I think it stopped raining completely for the day. That's good. Yeah, all these flower places are closed. If you come here in the morning, you see them all laid out. Lots of big plants and pots, trees, everything. It's like you're walking in a rainforest. T-I-C-H, thank you so much for three bucks. Appreciate it very much, thank you. Here is 6th Avenue. 6th Avenue. One more avenue to go, and then I'll walk down 5th. I still can't believe how quiet it is in New York right now. Devian, the sound went and came. That's because I was muting it on and off. There was some music being played over the speakers there in front of those buildings. You can see the One World Trade Center in the distance there, if you look closely enough. One more avenue to go. This might be the quietest Christmas I've observed in New York City in my lifetime. Jack, even considering the bad weather. Yeah, even considering the bad weather too. Christmas time is a time for relaxation. People to go and spend time with family and friends, which I'll do later anyway. Thank you, Gilly Gill with five bucks. Merry Christmas. And James and Carla is in the house as well. Also, great YouTubers. Merry Christmas and wishing you a very happy new year and stay safe. Thank you, James and Carla. It's 28th and Broadway, all right. I'm back on track after that long detour to Hudson Yards which I wanted to show I think this driver is confused they're confuzzled they want to make a right here they couldn't because of this thing they're driving really slow 
vice versa. Thank you so much for $14.99. Just found your channel. Nice work, man. Thank you. There's the flat iron building in the distance. Still on the construction ever since like the beginning of this year. It's still been on the construction. Over here there's like no wind at all compared to huts and yards which is super super windy. Alright, let's cross the streets. Walking commuters in the house saying Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you as well. Here is 26th Street and Broadway. I covered pretty much all the major attractions in Midtown Manhattan and then came down here. With the exception of Grand Central Terminal and Penn Station, I think. And the Empire State Building. Ziv, thank you so much for $10. Appreciate it very much. I didn't mention this throughout this walk yet, but throughout that whole flower district coming here and also in this area, I noticed a lot of people who are really struggling now. They're living on the streets, they need help. It's really sad to see. And I wish, you know, things could be better for everybody. But I really feel for these people who don't have a home to go to for Christmas time. Thank you, Mellow Man, for five bucks. Merry Christmas, Action Kid from Myra, Monica, Edna, and Cliff. Appreciate it very much. It's just a sign of the times when we see people living on the streets like this. People really have it hard this year. I'm seeing more people who are needing help this year and it's really sad. I try to help out when I can. I go to local organizations, I volunteer my time. Sometimes if I see someone who's in need of food, I give them food. They may not take it all the time, but at least I offered. Alexander Guzman, thank you so much for five bucks. Appreciate it. Empire State Building in the background. Alrighty. So the fog cleared up, that's great. 
But this is the Flatiron District now. We have the Flatiron Building. This is Madison Square Park. Madison Square Park sometimes has a tree in the north part of the park. I wonder if I could spot it or if they even put one up this year. No, they didn't put up a tree this year. I think last year they did. I find it incredible how pigeons know exactly when to fly at the same time as a group. I like this piece of artwork they put next to the flat iron. Let's go over there and check it out. I was gonna cross and then I saw this taxi coming around the corner. Let's do it quickly. All right. There we go. Are these sparrows wet? See how close I can get without spooking them. These little birds, they always find a way to like fly into little, 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 little nooks and crannies really quickly this is called the point of action by studio cook john step into the six foot spotlights to connect with other participants and passerbys Kind of a strange art installation. Seems like I'm on a bridge, to be honest, with all these strings up and it's just orange. So yesterday I took my scooter down 5th Avenue and then I made a detour to Union Square. I think today I'll walk down Broadway. I don't think I'll head over to Washington Square Park today only because I covered it yesterday. And it was quiet yesterday as well. 
I'll just go straight shot down Broadway. Wow, it is quiet here. There's like nobody on this block with me. Nobody. This has to be the quietest Christmas I've ever experienced in Manhattan. Nothing is open. Zimmergy, thank you so much for 10 bucks. My daughter and I appreciate the tours. Thank you from St. Louis, Missouri. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you as well. Le Pon Quintedien. Open from 7 to 7.30, but not on Christmas and not uh, here because it looks like they shut down completely. Flowers by Blooming Affairs. Not even there open, but they got a nice entrance way. Maybe when I get to Union Square, it will be a little more active. Even this corner store is closed. And usually they're the ones that continually to stay open. Lucas, are there any Chinese restaurants nearby? Uh, in Chinatown. Chinatown is not too, too far from here. Chinatown is uh, mostly open. I guess if you're interested, maybe I'll stop by Chinatown. It's on my way anyway to um, going down Broadway. And we'll see what's open in Chinatown. It's actually not, might not be a bad idea. I can pick up some stuff in Chinatown to bring home for the family and friends dinner later. Nikolai, thank you so much for $4.99. Watching this from bed because I have COVID. Thank you for making Christmas day a little bit better. Nikolai, Merry Christmas to you and I hope you get better soon and I hope you make a complete recovery. I know people who have gotten COVID, they've suffered a lot from it, but there's others who suffered only mild cases and they come back stronger than ever. So hang in there. Wow, this is like the quietest part of Manhattan I've walked so far I think in between Flatiron and Union Square AMC theater is closed Oh wow. I never saw this window this way before. They sure got a lot of stuff.
That's ABC Carpet and Home. Lynn, are there any Japanese restaurants nearby? I think there's one on 17th Street or is it 18th Street? One of them down there. But I'm not sure if they're open. It's probably best to uh, look up their location on a search engine and then call them up and confirm if they're open today. That's the way I do it. You know what's open for business? These pigeons. They don't care it's Christmas or not. It is chow time. What are they eating? Let's find out. What's so yummy for lunchtime? Hot falafel and red pet pepper. What? Pigeons like that? As soon as I walk away, they go right back to it. They're like, num, 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 num. Actually, I heard that um, with peppers, the reason why they have that hot flavor is because when mammals eat it, like raccoons, humans, squirrels, they can't handle the peppers, so they don't eat it or they don't touch it but when birds eat the peppers the pepper seeds they don't they don't taste the uh, the spice and the hot flavor from it so when they go to the bathroom they fly around they spread the seeds that's uh, some biology for you <laughs> Birds spread seeds better than humans do. Alright, let's wait for the light. Union Square so normally Union Square they have a holiday market over here but this year because of COVID restrictions they decided not to host it the only one that's really around is the one in Bryant Park It is so wet right now. There's water all over the place. Let's go through the park. A little more active in the park. I thought I saw a small bird here. No, it's just a sparrow. It's 
sometimes I get fascinated by small birds if I haven't seen that species around before. Dylan Plishka Humphreys, thank you so much for five Canadian sending love to our neighbor United States. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Dylan. Thank you. I looked back and I saw a cyclist. I wasn't sure if they were coming. Uh, Azerba, what is the national debt clock at? That's not actually the national debt clock. That's a art installation. It counts down how many, how much time is left until the world cannot reverse the effects of climate change from destroying the uh, entire world. So according to that clock, there's only seven years, six hours, 16 minutes, and 27, wait, seven years, six days, I don't know what 1627 is supposed to stand for because the last one is the seconds. Let's go this way. Oh, 16 hours. That makes sense. Damien Fenton, thank you so much for five euro. Happy holidays from Dublin, Ireland. Appreciate it. Uh, Susie, the sign should not flash like that. That's my camera because it's a bright light. The, um, the camera can't capture it. But it's not actually flashing like that in real life. It's steady. At least the Starbucks are open around the city. I don't think it used to be the deck clock. Before it just used to be a clock that told the time. But it was changed recently, maybe a few months ago. Alright, so this is 4th Avenue, I want to go down Broadway, so this way. It is so quiet here in Union Square. Is Dwayne Reed open? I'm not even sure. Yeah, it is open. It just doesn't look inviting. The door is broken. <coughs> door is broken. Use the middle door. And then they got a board here. Thank you, Mike E. With five bucks. Appreciate it very much. Urbanist in the house. Merry Christmas, kid of action. Thank you so much, Urbanist. Another great YouTuber and Facebook live streamer. Let me get some water. I'm thirsty. Hey, may I get a water? Oh, oh there's cold ones too, right? Cold ones. This one's warm. Okay. How much? One dollar. Okay. Thank you. 
Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays. Alright. Perfect. Now I can down this water. drink on earth, water. Don't want to drink too much of it because I don't want to use the restroom. Too early. Strand Bookstore at the end of the next block. It's the largest bookstore in New York City. They got like miles and miles of books. Yeah, Isabel, the water was a dollar. Tom, thank you so much for five bucks for my hard work. Appreciate it very much. Eighteen miles of books at the Strand. Shop early, buy local, and the strand is closed on Christmas Day. Sunny Kumar, thank you so much for the 20 Indian rupees. Three times restaurant, sour dumplings. They're open. They are open. Oh wait, no. There's a lock on the door. They look like they were open. That's kind of strange. This is open. Sell us eight ninety one. Thank you so much for ten euro. Appreciate it. Urbanist asking why I'm handheld today. Handheld? Not sure what you mean. Maybe it's the picture. But I've got it on a gimbal right now. It's just uh, the cord is making it a little bit wobbly. Martin, thank you so much for the Uruguay currency. 75. Hug from Uruguay. Uruguay. Great job. Happy New Year. Here's the historic Grace Church. Yeah, I've already been streaming for like two hours and 45 minutes so I needed to plug in a cable it's not too bad but it's not perfect
Aria 0214 wants me to explore Chinatown. I, I'm gonna go there because I'm curious what's open and what's not too. And I also, I also want to pick up some food to go back and bring it home. Even Broadway is super, super quiet. Not too much going on right now. Hopefully when I get to Chinatown, it'll be a little bit more lively. Thank you for the 2790 Brazilian Real. Hi, happy Christmas everybody. Thank you, Re Plus. Some tall residential buildings. Going to my left is the East Village. I doubt any of those restaurants on A Street are open right now. POV asking me how much do I say the occupancy of Manhattan is right now? Two or three percent? Mm, I would say like five percent, I think. It's kind of hard to gauge also. And I'm counting all like the tourists who come in and the people walking on the streets and also the holiday. Yeah, Plains Rift, most stores are closed for Christmas. Walking by, uh, most stores are closed. Body Shop, AT&T, even Macy's was closed. Sandra Garcia, thank you so much for $9.99. That's the place. Sounds like the wind's picking up again. When I get to Chinatown, there'll be more businesses open and then I can go down to the Wall Street area, South Street Seaport, because over there there's a lot more decorations. Hey, there's McDonald's up ahead. Let's see if McDonald's is even open. Moonbeam, thank you so much for $10. Thank you. And Pamela Stefaniadis, thank you so much for five dollars. Kala Kushinyana, Kushinyana, Merry Greek Christmas, thank you. I'm trying. Here's me. 
McDonald's open. I think they are. Quiet in the McDonald's though. Toilet brush salesman. Everyone hates socks for Christmas except for Action Kid. Now I appreciate socks. As a little kid, I didn't like socks, but now I could definitely use more socks. Sara BH Duda, thank you so much for 700 Indian rupees from Saruba and Eva. Thank you. Appreciate it very much. And Gazelle done, $14.99. Thank you, Gazelle. Yeah, Laurie, I go through a lot more socks than I do shoes. Cory Don 70, thank you so much for five bucks. Merry Christmas from Bermuda. We used to live in the Bronx. Awesome. Still can't believe how quiet it is here. This is the NoHo district up in Han. Alex, thank you so much for 1090 Rial. Almost approaching three hours on this live stream. Moonbeam with five bucks. Get yourself a nice cup of hot cocoa and marshmallows and stay safe out there. Merry Christmas. Sending love from sunny Florida. Well, at least Starbucks is open. I can get a hot cocoa from there, but um, I'm not really into the caffeine, but maybe I'll need it when I finish this. We'll see. I'm definitely going to stop to get lunch somewhere after I end. No ho, looks like it's a no-go today, nothing's open. Alvary Ferry, am I going out tonight? No, I won't be going out tonight. I'm spending it with friends and family inside. This live walk um, right now is the only time I'm going to be out. And it's a long one too. Camilo Caro, thank you so much for 1900 Chilean pesos. Appreciate it very much. From Chile. A spare Christmas tree leaf here. You know what's really sad to see? I'm gonna share with you something. During like the first week or second week of January, right after New Year's, people start throwing their Christmas trees away and they put them on the curb. On a really windy day such as like today, You'll actually see like the Christmas trees rolling down the street like tumbleweeds. They're like that bad. 
Tim Lawson. Thank you so much for 10 bucks. Appreciate it very much. It's like the unwanted gift when you have to throw away the tree and it's, there's so many just flying around the street. Alright, I'm only one block away from the Soho neighborhood. Nicole, if they're not all tinsel, they can be do donated to animal rescues and farms. Well, you know what the city does also? A lot of the trees, they actually mulch them up so they use them as um, for gardening and stuff. And they'll have these mulch fests in the public parks and in the streets. You bring the tree to them and they'll mulch the tree up. That's a good way to do it. Pretty sure Soho is going to be quiet too. Yeah, look at Houston Street, not much traffic here at all. Yeah, the mulch is a great thing. I think the worst thing to do is just put put the Christmas trees inside a garbage bag and then they just get thrown in a, in a landfill. The tree doesn't get reused that way. Four crashes, zero six. Thank you so much for $49.99 for new socks in 2021. Thank you. Four crash zero six. Thank you. And GG at forty nine four ninety nine. Really enjoy exploring different places with you. Merry Christmas and to you as well. Thank you. George Buffon is saying New York City is dead. You're glad to see it. Well, people have mixed opinions about New York. To me, my opinion of New York is that it's not dead. There's still people here, there's still people who enjoy living here. I can see uh, why people would think it is though. Oh my goodness. I gotta turn this off and on. My gimbal might be dead though. But it's still alive. Just extremely quiet. I mean, I don't see where people come from when they say New York City is dead. Meanwhile, you have towns in the Midwest with a much less population than New York City, even with all the residents who have left New York. Prince Street and Broadway. Nothing open in Soho. How's the Museum of Ice Cream doing? 
This store might be open. Super World. Oh no, it's not. You got that metal gate in the back. That's not open. Nothing's open here. Converse is closed. It's kind of like I did um, that same video I did walking Soho at late night and everything was closed after hours. Museum of Ice Cream. You know, I didn't get close to this beforehand. I showed it across the street, but I love their pink Christmas trees. It actually matches my umbrella. That actually might be a good shot. Let me uh, turn it around. This might be cool. And they got a tri uh, a stand back there. I could actually put this down. That will be cool. Yeah, let me put this down. It'll look fun. Alright. Let's put this down. Take the charger out. See how long this cable is? Maybe I can unzip with this. Because it'll show a little bit more color than a black. You know what, let me just put this down. I'll just put my jacket down here and just... I gotta be quick though, because I don't want to freeze. Let's point this up a little bit. To the left. Alright. Photo shoot time. Now I'm going to put my jacket on quickly because it is really, really cold. Let's plug this in again. If only I was wearing like pink clothing, it would have worked better. We got Uni Glow. Uni Glow is closed for Christmas Day. Moonbeam saying, I still matched. I'm glad he thinks so. The umbrella, I didn't think the umbrella would come in handy today, but hey, pink umbrella for a photo shoot, why not? That's a quick way to get a good picture. Umbrellas, you bring props. Balloons work well in pictures too. You can also get some Christmas decorations, those work well, lights. Alright, I think I'm done walking down Broadway because it's pretty much going to be the same going down here. Let's go this way and we'll go into Nolita, north of Little Italy. That's what the acronym stands for.
hopefully there will be something open in Novita and we'll head into Chinatown. Uh, here, Crosby and String, uh, Spring. I'm surprised all the Starbucks that I passed by are mostly open today. Starbucks is an option if you want to get drinks and food. Starbucks has some food in there as well. And not uh, Starbucks food is not bad. I like their breakfast options. The salads are a good value as well as Starbucks. Joe and the juice is open. So, I cross over the street and we'll be in Nolita. Anything going on in Nolita? And then we'll see if there's anything going on in Chinatown. Chinatown should be more open than no leader, I think. Oh no! You know, I'm so stupid, I forgot my water bottle back there. But, it's okay, I left, I uh, drank like more than half of it already, so. I forgot my water bottle. Oops. Stupid me. At least it wasn't anything valuable compared to like my camera or my backpack or anything. It's only water. That restaurant was open in Nolita. Why is my gimbal acting up? This is not good. Good. I think it's just the way my cable is pulling on my shirt. Let me go in this park and adjust it. Because before I had my jacket closed, now it's open and it's catching on to the bottom of the jacket. Okay, good. This should be better. I hope. All right, Spring Street and Mott Streets and Nolita. Oh, wow. Lombardi's is closed today. Famous for their pizza. Not only, not any pizza though, but the clam pizza of all things.
Cafe, cafe looks like it's open. Okay. If you stroll by no leader, there's some places that are open still. All right. Ken Mayor Streets and Mott Streets. I'm only two blocks away from Chinatown now. Although you can kind of consider this Chinatown as well. I don't really consider it Chinatown that much until you pass Grand Street. Yeah, my gimbal is not liking this cable net now. So you know what? I think I'm just gonna give up on the cable. Let me just stabilize it this way. All right. Let's put this cable away. I think I should be good. I, I saw the uh, battery level on it, it was like, I think it was like 50% or so, so that's good for another hour. I doubt I'll be streaming more than that. If it says low battery, then I know I have to get worried. There'll be less weight for this device to balance. This is pretty. All right, so we're approaching Chinatown. This food market looks like it's open. A lot of places seem like they're open. Hey, even the uh, Jin Fu Spa is open. Actually, it may not be a bad idea for me to get one of these after I'm done with the walk. Going for a foot spa treatment, maybe for like half an hour or an hour. No, nah, maybe an hour is too long, but I'll see how I feel after. Got Mott Street and Grand Streets. Hi. This stretch of Mott Street is known for all its um, shopping, all the grocery stores. Claudio Altremonti, thank you so much for two euro. Merry Christmas, Action Kid. Thank you for the show. Appreciate it. Look at this, folks. Chinatown is open for business. All the grocery stores are open here. You can still come here and get your Christmas supplies if you haven't already, if you want to cook for tonight. I think these are the veggies that are going in the disposal bin, the expired stuff.
Beautiful. See, I told you Chinatown is going to be open for Christmas time. The restaurants seem like they're open too in Chinatown. Some of these uh, tenement buildings, they kept the exterior very nice and renovated. Any cars coming? Yeah, there's a lot of um, spa places open. That's good. Even the parking lot decorated. They put lights all around. Shanghai Huping Restaurant is open. Wow, look at this. Christmas tree in the window. Wow, wow, wow. This must have just happened on Mott Street. You can see a lot of lanterns hung up along the above the street. I think they're getting ready for uh, Lunar New Year, which is February. 14th I think this year I mean uh, next year 2021 so we're getting a glimpse of what's to come Al Lee's saying it's the 12th okay now it's the 12th it's not the 14th I think it's on a Friday Wow, a lot of traffic here on Canal Street. Let's go in front of this car just in case the driver has any plans to reverse. Traffic jam on Mott Street, folks. Let's walk right down because this might be kind of cool to see. The cars are moving now. I don't want to do that. This is the most people I've seen all day in Chinatown. There's more people here than Rockefeller Center, Herald Square, Times Square, Hudson Yards. These lanterns look awesome. Whoa. You know what? I think I might be going to Chinatown to get lunch after I finish this live stream. I was going to eat downtown, but seeing as how there's many other, a lot of stores that are closed and restaurants, I think I'm coming here.
Victor saying, Will Smith, Smith donate 50000 to Chinatown? They're put up by Patrick Mock. You know, I think I read that. Will Smith did contribute some money to Chinatown. That's great. So folks, if you want a restaurant to eat at, Chinatown is open. Plus for Chinatown for decorating. But they didn't string lanterns up here. It's understandable because there's probably like a big gap between here and there. King Duck House. Great spot for some lunch. Back days. Thank you so much for five bucks. Definitely eat lunch in Chinatown. Thank you for Christmas box. Enjoying the view from Massachusetts. And Alan with five pounds from Scotland. Love the vibe in Chinatown. Thanks for the walk. Thank you, Alan. Wow, all the Chinese restaurants are busy right now. Good for them. Because Chinatown got hit hard big time with coronavirus. It's great that people are coming here to support Chinatown. Uh, Excuse me? That's me. Your action kid. Action your kid. Stuff, man. Thank you. You're welcome. Happy holidays, Merry Christmas, Happy ho everything. Happy holidays. Mm -hmm. it's such a pleasure to meet you. Yeah. You having lunch now? Uh, no, man. No. My family, oh, you are? All right. Yeah, well, tell them Happy day. holidays. Take Happy care. Holidays. Bye. That was fun. He came up to me just to wish me a happy holidays and to meet up with me. Okay. So now this is Chatham Square. And I'm going to walk towards Wall Street now. I think what I'll do is I'll head over down to the New York Stock Exchange to see that Christmas tree and then I'll start wrapping up the live stream. I also thought about going over to the South Street Seaport to see that tree but I think I'll just end it at the tree right by the New York Stock Exchange that would be a good place to finish it up I didn't really like the seaport tree too much anyway but this is the um, 
old Five Points neighborhood. This block is where all the funeral homes are. And to the left is all the Civic Center buildings. Robert Arthur, thank you so much for five bucks. Appreciate it, Robert, thank you. Thank you so much. Will I be streaming live on New Year's Eve? I'll have to see. I did uh, stream Thanksgiving, the Thanksgiving Day Parade, which if you could even call it that, there were only like two or three big balloons. Beep, beep, you fell asleep at the wheel, that's what it means. You know, this street, Wharf Street, it used to be called Anthony Street. And Columbus Park, it used to be um, the big center of the town there, Five Points. I forgot the name of it, Paradise Square. I think it was called, but it was depicted in Gangs of New York, that film. All right, I think in another like 15, 20 minutes, I'll be by the tree by the New York Stock Exchange. Let's cross the street here. All right. I think this neighborhood here, the Civic Center is gonna be extremely quiet no government offices are going to be open today on christmas day Laurie saying it's a great place to end the Christmas fall. Yes, it is. And from there, I can just ha hop on the train back to Chinatown for some lunch. The J train is right there, right to Canal Street. Two stops. No, uh, I think three stops. So quiet. Thank you, Peter Robbins, for 20 pounds. Merry Christmas, Ken. Keep spreading awesomeness and positivity in 2021. Your streams have meant a lot with long COVID. I can't walk right now, but will again one day. Peter, I wish you well. Hope you make a full recovery and speedy recovery. Thank you so much. And happy ho happy holidays to everyone watching right now. You know, I could have gone to um, the Wall Street area if I went down Pearl Street. That might have been another way to go. But going this way, you got to see the entrance of the Brooklyn Bridge. I think it'll be kind of neat to show.
Rob Hubner with a hundred dollars. Happy holidays, Action Kid. You've been the highlight of this year for us. Keep doing what you do. Thank you, Rob, so much. My goodness. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas to you. Thank, thank you. The Civic Center. Below me is the ugliest subway station in New York City, the Chambers Street Station. And here is the Manhattan Municipal Building where most of the city employees work at. You know, I have not been down here since the holiday started, but look at this gigantic wreath they put up. Wow, look at that. Seasons greetings, that's huge. New York City government putting on a show. Let's walk to the entrance of the Brooklyn Bridge now and head right into the financial district. Oh, Laurie, this is the Manhattan Municipal Building. People confuse this as the New York City Hall Building, but this was built specifically to house city employees. That over there is the City Hall Building. It's the oldest city hall in the country, which still serves its original function. And this is the Brooklyn Bridge. All right, let's go. The famous Brooklyn Bridge. Started by John Roebling, connecting then the cities of Brooklyn and New York. Now I gotta go this way. Actually, I don't have to go this way. I'll go a different way because I always go down this way. I'll show you a secret entrance as well as show you the Brooklyn Bridge. Gotta mute this music. So this entrance I want to go to is right 
coming up. It leads right to Pearl Street. You know what? The Brooklyn Bridge has a good amount of people on it walking across. There's always been a lot of people walking the Brooklyn Bridge on around Christmas time. Very nice. All right, so I'm gonna go this way. This says Chinatown, but you can walk the other way too, to the left, and go into the financial district. Melissa Clayton, thank you so much for 10 bucks. Missing New York City, thank you for your content, and Merry Christmas, stay safe. Thank you. You know what? I think I'll have time to show the South Street Seaport Street. Why not? Let's extend the live stream just a little bit more. I'll show the tree by the seaport because I'm by the water already. And then I will head over to the Wall Street tree. And magically, I'm in the financial district from this. Cut across this way, save some distance. This might be my longest walk I've ever taken on Christmas Day. stream for three hours and 39 minutes already goodness by the time I finish it might even be four hours Sean O'Connor thank you so much for ten dollars Merry Christmas please say hello to Tina Sean and Tina hello Merry Christmas thank you I got some time to cross. Two seconds. Jack, thank you so much for the 20 Swedish Chrome. Appreciate it. We got here Beekman Streets. There's also a uh, skyscraper that's pretty famous here at the end of Beekman Streets. I think it's uh, 65 Beekman, something like that, all the way at the end there.
All righty. Fulton Street is coming up. I go on to Fulton Street all the way to the end. I'll be at South Street Seaport. Let's see if there's more people down here than uh, Midtown, Rockefeller Center, Hudson Yards, Fifth Avenue, where I started from. TJ Burns Bar and Restaurant. I'm not sure if they're open or not. I see Christmas lights in there. Here's Cliff Streets. Thank you, Candy Ballantyne, for four pounds ninety-nine. Merry Christmas! Thank you. Thank you very much. Wow, that Taco Bell is open, as well as Dunkin' Donuts. Papaya Dog, Little Italy, Pizzeria is open too. And there's the tree of South Street Seaport. I'm heading there and then I'm headed back. I pretty much caught most of the major Christmas trees today. Daryl Stacy, thank you so much for 10 pounds with a Merry Christmas. Thank you. I appreciate hearing it because her lifespan is 15 years. <laughs> She's great. Here is the tree. And is it just me or is that tree lopsided? Look, it's tilted. The stars like this way. I don't remember it being tilted back uh, when they were decorating it. Thank you, John Holloman, for four ninety nine. Appreciate it. Looks better from this side. Okay, onward to Wall Street now. The Wall Street tree. Maybe we'll try trading stocks there. D white car, thank you so much for the five New Zealand dollars. Appreciate it. That's a nice tree up there. One seaport plaza.
Amo Pallet Car. Thank you so much for four dollars and ninety nine cents. Appreciate your support. It is quiet here in the financial districts. No money is being exchanged today in the financial district, or if they are, it's not physically. Are these offices? Barry Erg, thank you so much for 15 bucks, Barry. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. Maybe the stock exchange is still open at Wall Street. We should start buying and selling stocks. Maybe we'll uh, invest our money in the next Microsoft or Amazon. Here, Maiden Lane. Two more blocks, I'll be at Wall Streets. Matthew Saram, thank you so much for two bucks. Merry Christmas from Jamaica. What camera am I using? It's in the video description. The Samsung Galaxy S10 5G on Verizon. And Hallie Ang with 50 bucks. Thanks for taking us around. Thank you, Hallie. Appreciate it very much. Thank you. And Carrie Senior, 14.99. Merry Christmas, Action Kid. Enjoying your walk today while sitting sub with our family. Love New York. Thank you. Thank you as well. And Lois Tracy, Merriest Christmas from Kansas. Thank you, Lois. How many steps did I do so far? Asked Vital B. I will check after I end the live stream, which is very soon. Pine Street and then Wall Streets. I don't know, maybe we should uh, start investing all our money in something at the stock exchange. Mark W, thank you so much for $4.99. Christmas greetings from Mark and Sharon in the UK. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Maybe we should uh, put our money into Christmas tree disposable companies because they're going to be in need in another week or two. Maybe that would be a good investment, I don't know. Almost there. Wow, it's seriously going to be close to four hours when I end this live stream. Three hours and 50 minutes so far.
Look at how densely packed these skyscrapers are. It's incredible. Moolox, thank you so much for 229 euro. Can you show us the Ghostbusters headquarters? Um, I've covered it in previous videos, but that's a little bit far from here. So not today. Laurie saying don't invest in bitcoins. I mean, I've been following Bitcoin for a little bit. People have been saying that ever since it launched. Like, people thought Bitcoin wasn't going to be good and some others thought it was okay, it's going to die off, but now look at it. Bitcoin is traded and people want it. Teo, thank you so much with 10 RON. Appreciate it. And David Stauka, thank you so much for 50 bucks. Appreciate it, David. Thank you so much. William Street now. Still got a little bit to go. Well, this is nice. I like the way they decorate their stoop here. Got some Christmas trees in the lobby here. Hey look, I'm not the only one who forgot a drink. This person left their uh, McDonald's shake. <laughs> I left the bottle of water, that person left the McDonald's shake. My gosh, it is so quiet here on Wall Street. Joe Shaw, thank you so much for $5. Merry Christmas, Action Kid. You as well, Merry Christmas. Here we are, Wall Street. New York City Federal Hall. George Washington where he was inaugurated as the first president of the United States got the JP Morgan building across the street from it and we got the New York Stock Exchange right here got the Christmas wreath in front and New York Stock Exchange closed for the day. No trading done today. So my uh, plan to come here and to go into that building and buy up like a million shares of, I don't know, Tesla didn't work. We're going to have to wait for Monday to do that. And here is the tree of New York Stock Exchange. Wow, yeah, he just so cool to see them playing around. A nice shot.
I still think this tree is better than the Rockefeller Center tree. This is beautiful. I mean, it's a shame I can't get a better angle. I need to like crouch down maybe. And that needs to be farther away. Too bad. Underneath the tree. Pretty tree. I still think this is the best decorated tree in New York City right now more than Rockefeller. And this one's awesome too because you can stand right under it. Let's look at it from this angle. Wow, this stream's been going on for three hours and 58 minutes. I might as well wait two minutes and make it four hours before ending it, why not? We can stare at the tree some more <laughs> for another minute or so. But Merry Christmas, everybody. Thank you everyone for joining in this live stream. It's been fun. We had a lot of great adventures today. All the way from Fifth Ave down to Rockefeller Center, Times Square, Bryant Park, Hudson Yards, Macy's Building, all the way across Flatiron District, Chinatown, Soho, Nolita, Noho. Pretty much anywhere you wanna go as a tourist at this time with the exception of the uh, Statue of Liberty, but you can see that another time. But anyway, folks, I'm going to end this live stream here, take the subway back to Chinatown, get something to eat, rest up, get my groceries done, and have a nice Christmas dinner with my family and friends. But if you enjoyed this live stream, be sure to smash the like button for me. Subscribe for some more like these. And I will see you next time. Bye bye folks. Take care. It's been awesome. We made this four hours. Three, hour, three hours, 59 minutes and 40 seconds. I still got some time. I want to approach the four hour mark. I can do it just by looking up. And by the time that does, It'll be four hours. Merry Christmas, happy holidays. Take care.